But we're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position as we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down our mind and our bodies here today. Tucking our tummies in at our navel. Spinal cords nice and elongated. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, exhale. Breathe in deeply, exhale fully. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, taking a moment to notice how we feel in our present moment. Four breaths of silence. Exhale, allowing our palms to connect to the earth. We are using our palms to connect to our environment. Just taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment, simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our head, above our heads coming into a seated salute, palms are together. As we interlace our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, that heart chakra is lifted, that chin is slightly up. Allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. You may feel this in your lumbar spine. This is a slight back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating our palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. When our palms are together, it's a seated salute. When our palms are separated, it's an extended mountain. As we twist our bodies towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that right shoulder, coming into that seated twist. Maybe connecting that left hand to that right knee to come deeper in that twist, allowing the eyes to gaze down or close. Feeling the spinal cord twist and decompress. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale in the center, coming into that seated star. With our star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. That heart is lifted, that chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, twisting the body towards the left. Palms come down, gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Relaxing the eyes down. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star. Exhaling to that seated salute. Chin is up, heart chakra is lifted. As we allow our bodies to lean towards the right, seated side bend. Optioning to slightly gaze up at the heavens. Noticing that when we gaze up, we open up that heart chakra a little more. Three breaths, two breaths. Exhale into center as we lean our bodies to the opposite side, feeling this stretch here in the side body. Backs are straight, tummies are tucked, gazing up at the heavens if that feels good. Three breaths, two breaths. Exhale into center. We are in that salute, palms together. Exhaling down to prayer, palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Backs are straight, two breaths. Bringing our palms back up into our salute. 
separating those palms in that extended mountain. As we breathe our fingertips downward towards our shoulders, connecting our fingertips to our shoulders. As we rotate our shoulders towards the back, we are working the upper parts of our bodies, loosening and relaxing them. A lot of times we have tension and stress in our shoulders and our neck. May we allow our bodies to relax and soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding that pause at center, rotating our shoulders forward in the opposite direction. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, breathing our palms to our salute. Exhale to prayer, palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Three breaths of silence. Flowing our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. This here is allowing our hips to open up and our butterfly, our feet are closer to our bodies. This is a deeper hip opener. And our diamond, our feet are further away. So doing what feels best for you. Backs are straight, heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Breathing our hands to our ankles or our feet. Using our hands to massage our feet or our ankles, flowing downward towards our feet. Just taking a little moment here to give our feet a little love and affection. Maybe we can place our fingers on our feet and act like we're opening our feet up like a book. Just playing around with that. Three more breaths. Doing whatever feels good here. Two breaths. Keeping that back straight, that chin is lifted. We're gonna slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, we go deeper into that hip flexor. So only hinging forward as much as your body comfortably allows you to lean. And if we choose, we can come a little deeper, allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward, allowing the head to melt downward towards the feet. Gaze in the eyes there with a close in the eyes as we take nice, subtle breaths. Two more breaths. Using our hands to push our torsos up. We are back in that diamond or that butterfly. This is a bound position. Using our hands to breathe our legs inward. Breathing them straight. We are in that staff pose. Backs are nice and elongated. Tummies are tight. Heart chakras lifted. Chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. As we hinge at the hips, we are in our seated half forward fold. We're going to keep that back straight. That heart chakras lifted. That chin is up. Half forward fold. Connecting our hands to our ankles, coming into a complete forward fold, allowing that torso to come closer to the thighs, head relaxes downward towards the knees. This is a complete forward fold, a full body stretch. You may feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings. As we take a nice breath, exhale, feeling the body melt forward. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Using our hands to walk our bodies up. We are back in that staff pose. We're going to separate our legs just a little bit and we're going to breathe that right leg inward, connecting this right foot to the inner thigh. We're in that half butterfly. We're going to take this right hand to this right knee. Then we can bring it down to our ankle as our torso relaxes over that thigh. Option to breathe our hand downward to our feet. Torso comes down, gazing up at the heavens, gazing over that right shoulder. Feeling that body twist. Feeling that body stretch. We are lengthening here. We can option to breathe this right arm up in the air and connect it towards our left toes if that feels good or bring it towards 
the left side, gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We're going to straighten our leg. We are in the straddle pose. Wide legged. We're going to slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge, you'll feel that pull, that stretch, that lengthening behind your thighs. Allowing that torso to come closer to the earth. Breathing our hands to our ankles or our feet. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. Head comes downward towards the earth. Allowing those eyes to gaze down. Four breaths. Feeling those shoulders relax. Two more breaths. Using our hands to walk our bodies back up. We are in our wide legged pose. We're going to slightly breathe our legs inward just a little. As we breathe this left foot into that right thigh. Half butterfly opposite side. Backs are straight as we lean our bodies towards our right thigh. Connecting our right hand to our knee or our ankle, or our feet, and we are, we are feeling that stretch here. Optioning to gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that twist. We can also option to breathe that left hand over our heads, or we can connect the left hands to our toes if that feels good. Just hanging out here, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathing that leg out. Coming back into that wide-legged pose. As we point our toes upwards towards the heavens, just noticing how that feels. As we point our toes downward towards the earth. So we're going to do a couple of plantar dorsiflexes flexes here. Pointing the toes downward in that ballerina's foot. And then pointing the toes upwards towards the heavens. We're showing our ankles and our feet a little bit more love here. Three more breaths. Finding our pause at center, we're going to fold our feet. And we're going to come onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth as we drop that tummy downward. Chin is slightly up. We're in that cow pose. Noticing how this feels here in that lumbar back, your lower spine. This here is good for low back pain. We're going to hold this pose for two breaths. Exhale into our cat. Tucking our tummy in at our navel. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Chin tucks in at our clavicle. As we do cat cow poses to our natural breath. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pause at center. And we're going to push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our feet by pedaling our, walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Tummies are tight, tucked in at our navel, gazing back at our feet. Finding pause here, down dog, as we shift our weight forward, coming into that high plank. We are working the upper parts of our bodies, our shoulders, our arms, our back blades. Two more breaths. Exhaling back, down dog, gazing at the feet. Shifting that weight forward, coming back to high plank. Three breaths. Exhale, back down dog, gazing at the feet. We're going to hold this down dog for four breaths. Two more breaths. We're going to hold this pose coming into a dolphin pose, dropping down to our forearms, buttocks is high in the air. We are still gazed at the back of the room. Maybe walking our feet slightly closer towards our bodies, optioning to 
tippy toe to pulse up and down on our tippy toes like we're going to launch up in a headstand, but we're not. We're just working on building strength in the lower parts of our bodies, our forearms here. This is a headstand prep pose. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause here in that dolphin. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a puppy pose. Keeping that buttocks high in the air. Our heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. We can extend our palms, our arms in front of us with our palms flat on the earth, making it into an extended puppy pose. Allowing that forehead, that third eye chakra to connect to the earth. As our, as our eyes slightly gaze down, shoulder blades melts forward. Feeling the body completely relax and soothe here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we spinal wave our bodies out of this puppy pose, just using our palms to wave that body forward and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. We are spinal waving, loosening, and relaxing that spinal cord. Three breaths. Two more breaths. On that last spinal wave, we're going to come into a child's pose, breathing our buttocks towards our heels. Our legs are wide apart slightly as our torso relaxes between our thighs. We are in that child's pose. Our heart chakra may be connecting to the earth, connecting to your yoga mat with the arms extended in front of us. Or we can flow into a prayer hands child's pose, or we can breathe our palms to the back and connect our hands to our feet. Whatever feels good for you, we're going to connect that third eye chakra towards the earth. Eyes are gazed down with a closed. Shoulder blades melts forward. Five breaths of silence. Three breaths. In our child's pose, we're going to rock our body from side to side, noticing how this feels here, nose, inner thighs, just feeling that body sway. Then we're going to find that pause and we're going to walk our hands towards the left. Just bringing that left hand to the side, bringing that right hand by that left hand and just feeling that side stretch here in this child's pose. Maybe using our fingertips to walk our hands forward on the earth, just feeling that stretch as we are walking our hands forward on the earth. Allowing that body to soothe. Three more breaths. As we exhale to center, then we're going to switch to the opposite side. Body flows towards the right. Palms come to the right side. Feeling the stretch. Feeling the body soothe. Three breaths. Using our fingers to walk our hands forward. Coming deeper in that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. Palms are flat on the earth as we spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose. May we do four spinal waves. And on that fourth wave, we're going to push our bodies up to our down dog. Gazing at the feet. Tummies are tight. 
Exhale into that three-legged dog, lifting that right leg up in the air, gazing at that foot, feeling that stretch, lifting that gluteus maximus up nice and high, squeezing that gluteus maximus, three-legged dog. Two more breaths. Holding this pose, we're going to breathe this right leg forward, coming into a pigeon pose. Breathing that right leg forward, crossing it in the front of our bodies, coming downward on our thighs, pigeon pose, or we can do that there pose. Cynthia taught us last week, breathing that left leg slightly outward towards the side. So pigeon pose or deer pose, using our hands to lift our torso away from the earth. Heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Or we can exhale down to a sleeping pigeon, allowing the torso to come downward towards the earth. Or maybe we're in that deer pose with our knees slightly inward. Whatever feels good for you. This here is a split prep pose. It's also a resting pose if we are in our sleeping pigeon. Eyes are gazed downward, shoulder blades melts forward. Four breaths. Two more breaths. If we're in that sleeping pigeon, we're going to use our hands to lift our bodies up. We are now back in that pigeon pose. Torso is away from the earth. Holding this pose for a second, we're going to gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center, gazing over that left shoulder, gazing back at the left foot. And if this feels well, we're going to come into a pigeon pose. We're going to lift a king pigeon, shall I say. We're going to lift that left leg up, connecting it into our hand. We are now in that king pigeon. To get in this pose, we can also option to use a strap, wrapping it around the foot and coming into that king pigeon. Whatever feels good. We also can lift our hands above our head in that king pigeon. With that heart chakra lifted, chin up. Or simply just keep our feet in our hand here. Just noticing how this feels. Now, this is a king pigeon. It looks very similar to a mermaid. In a mermaid, our leg is slightly outward towards the side. And we cuff our foot in our elbow. That's the difference between that king pigeon and that mermaid pose. Two more breaths. Hmm. Taking a nice breath. Exhale, lowering that left leg, twisting the body back forward as we gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that twist, the spinal twist. Exhale, back center. We're going to untuck that back foot, coming to down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog, pet on our feet, left and right. Finding our paws, three-legged opposite sides, left foot flows up towards the heavens, nice and high, squeezing that gluteus maximus. Two more breaths. Exhale, pigeon pose opposite side, left foot crosses in front of the body, coming on down on that Right thigh, we can come into a deer pose by slightly breathing that right leg outward if that feels good. Or just being here in our pigeon pose, using our hands to lift our torso away from the earth. Our heart chakra is lifted, our chin is up. As we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Coming back to center. Gazing over that right shoulder. Optioning to flow down to a sleeping pigeon. Torso comes downward towards the earth. Shoulders melts forward. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Gaze down or closed. This is a relaxing pose. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Feeling the body melt forward. Three more breaths. Mm. 
using our hands to slowly push our bodies out of that sleeping pigeon. If we were there, we're going to gaze over our right shoulder, looking at that right leg. If all feels good, we're going to breathe that right leg upward, coming into that king pigeon opposite side, connecting that right hand to that right foot. King pigeon or mermaid. In a mermaid, our leg is slightly outward towards the side and our foot is cuffed in our elbow. King pigeon, our leg is more towards the back. <sighs> Heart chakras lifted, chin is up. A yoga strap is a great way to get into a king pigeon or a mermaid. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, relaxing that right foot. Breathing, twisting our bodies forward as we gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Gazing back forward, untucking that toe, breathing down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedal on the feet, left and right. Finding our paws, shifting our weight forward, high plank. Two more breaths. Holding his pose, exhaling to up dog. Our thighs are off the earth. Chin is lifted, heart chakra is up. Exhaling back down dog, gazing at the feet. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Flow into high plank. We are working the upper parts of our bodies, our shoulders, our back blades. Exhale into up dog, thighs are not on the earth, up dog, thighs are off the earth, chin is lifted, two more breaths, holding his pose, coming down to cobra, connecting the thighs to the earth, untucking those toes, cobra pose, or baby cobra pose, and baby, we bend our elbows and our torso comes closer to the earth, two more breaths, chin is up, Exhaling down to our space pose, coming on to our forearms. Our shoulders are not shrugged. Having our shoulders away from the ears, this gives us control of our bodies. Chin is slightly up, heart chakra is lifted. Breathing our palms together. Eyes are slightly gazed down with a close if that feels good. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in, Exhale. Four breaths of silence. As we flow to our baby cobra, palms flat on the earth, elbows slightly bent, torso slightly away from the earth, baby cobra. Chin is up, exhale into cobra, straightening those arms. As we flow to our up dog, taking our thighs off the earth, untucking our feet, up dog. Chin is up, heart chakras open. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our feet to our hands, complete forward fold. This is a full body stretch. You'll feel this stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings as our head melts downward towards the earth. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt down, feeling the body, the spine relax, feeling it stretch, feeling it lengthen here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold. Backs are straight, gaze forward. <sighs> As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, giving ourselves a nice little stance here. Coming back down to that complete forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles or the earth. I 
optioning to rock or sway that body from side to side. Noticing how when we rock and sway, you will feel that pull, that stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings a little more. Four breaths. <clears throat> optioning to flow into a rag dial if that feels good. Connecting the hands to the elbows. Two more breaths. Mm. Finding our pause here and our wide-legged forward fold. Let's come nice and wide-legged here. As we breathe our left hand to our right ankle, we're going to wrap this right on behind our backs, how we do when I thread the needle, as we gaze over that right shoulder. We are in that wide-legged recline twist. Noticing how this feels. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale into center. Fingertips connect to the earth. Wide legged. As we breathe this right hand to that left ankle, wrapping this left hand behind our backs, how we do when I thread the needle as we gaze over that left shoulder. Wide legged spinal twist, opposite side. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Wide legged forward fold. As we walk our hands forward, breathing our feet to the back, slightly together, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding that pause, we're going to breathe our right foot to our right hand, runner's lunge. As we breathe this right hand inside of our right thigh, and we're going to twist our bodies towards the left. Left arm comes up towards the heavens, feeling that twist. <sighs> Opening up that heart chakra, gazing up at those left fingertips, if that feels good. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center. Both palms are flat on the earth. As we twist our bodies to the opposite side, right arm flows up towards the heavens, gazing at the fingertips or gazing forward. We are in our revolved twist. A twist is called revolved whenever we're twisted towards our thigh, our leg. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back down the center. Both palms are flat on the earth. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog, pedal on our feet left and right. We're going to find our pause, breathing our left foot to our left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side. Just for a second, we're going to breathe this left hand inside of that thigh, inside of that body. And we're going to twist our bodies towards the left. Left arm comes up towards the heavens, gazing up. We are in that revolved twist, opposite side. Tummies are tight. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale down the center. Both palms are flat on the earth. As we twist that body towards the right, right arm flows up towards the heavens. Gazing forward, gazing up at the heavens, whatever feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, both palms are flat on the earth. Exhale, down dog. Walking our dog, pedaling our feet. As we walk our feet to our hands, coming back to that complete forward fold, feeling that stretch behind our legs, head melts downward towards the earth. Mm. Two more breaths. 
Exhale into a half forward fold, gaze forward, backs are straight. As we come to our mountain pose, Tadasana, palms are at our side, shoulders are melted downward towards our ears, heart chakra is lifted, chin is up, taking a nice deep intentional breath, exhale. Here in our mountain pose, feeling our fingertips gravitate downward towards the earth, just feeling the pull, feeling the shoulders relax down. Eyes are gazed down with a closed. We are standing strong and tall like a mountain. We are here, we are present. We are firm in who we are. As our feet are grounded to the earth, may we be grounded in who we are. May we be grounded in our truth. May we believe in ourselves even when others do not. Stand strong, stand tall, mountain pose. Four breaths of silence. Taking a nice deep breath, breathing our palms above our heads and our standing salute, palms are together above our heads. Interlacing our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Shoulders flows up towards the ears, elongating that body, making that body feel nice and long. That heart chakra is lifted, that chin is up. We're gonna allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine, your lower back. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms, coming into that extended mountain. Palms are separated. As we lean our bodies towards the side, we are in our standing side bend. Now, if we breathe our palms together, we are in that standing crescent moon or a standing banana. Whatever feels best for you here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center, leaning our bodies to the opposite side. We can be in that side bend, that crescent moon or banana. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, breathing our palms to our salute. Exhaling down the prayer, coming into that standing prayer with the shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears. Palms are at heart center. Eyes are slightly gazed downward or closed. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Three breaths. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, we'll just bring our feet apart, nice and wide-legged here. With our toes pointing slightly away or to the edges of the yoga mat, we're going to breathe our hands and cactus hands, and we're going to bend our knees, coming into that goddess god stance. We are working our legs, the lower parts of our bodies, our gluteus maximus, our quads. Chest is lifted, chin is up. Eyes can be gazed down if that feels good here in our goddess, God stance. As we are strong and we are powerful. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to a standing star. Palms are out towards the side. Hearts are opened. Chin is up, eyes lightly gaze down. Taking that nice deep breath. Exhale. We're gonna hold this star for four breaths. Two more breaths.
Exhale and back down to that God is God stance. We can option to pulse up and down or sway that body from side to side. We can even slightly come on our tippy toes if we want. Whatever feels good. Six breaths. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to that standing star. <sighs> Feeling the arms and the shoulder blades. You might feel a little burn here, maybe. That just goes to show little steps, baby steps, or barely moving can still work and do and have an effect. If we're moving slow in life, if things are not going as fast as we hope, as we wish, just notice that going is going. Slow is better than not moving at all. And just standing in our star, doing nothing, we can feel that burn. We are working. We are going. Three more breaths. Standing star being strong in who we are. Two breaths. Exhale and back down to that goddess God stance. This time in our goddess stance, we're gonna breathe our palms up into that salute. Palms together above our heads or in that extended mountain above our heads. Four breaths. Chin is up, heart chakras lifted. Two more breaths. Exhale and wide legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles. Backs are straight. We can come into a forward fold or a half forward fold, whichever feels best for you and your body. And it's wide legged. You'll feel it stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Maybe we can slightly rock or sway from side to side. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes the muscles we just worked. Three more breaths. <clears throat> if we're in that half forward fold, coming down to that complete wide-legged forward fold. <clears throat> Two more breaths. Walking our hands forward, breathing our feet together, back in that down dog, tummies are tight. Shifting our weight forward, high plank. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a tabletop. Knees are hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth. Dropping that tummy down to that cow, chin is up. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale to cat. Blow into cow. Exhale to cat. Coming to our cow. And we're going to take this left foot and lift that left knee off the earth and lift that left foot up towards our buttocks, working on that tiger pose. Feel that there, we are working at gluteus maximus. We're gonna pulse that leg up and down. You're gonna feel that squeeze. We don't have to pulse, but we can if we wanna lift and round that gluteus maximus, or we could just squeeze it up real tight and hold that squeeze. As our bodies are gazed forward, chin is up, and if we want to have some fun and go into our advanced tiger, we can try our right hand to our right foot or our left hand to our right foot. I'm sorry. We could try our left hand to our left foot or our right hand to our left foot here in that tiger. I'm going to do my opposite hand to my opposite foot. And you'll feel that tiger stretch. Chin is up. Heart chakra is lifted. Three more breaths. Two breaths. 
Exhale, releasing, coming back to that table, dropping the body down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flow into cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table. As we tiger opposite side, lifting that right foot off the earth, right knee off the earth, coming into that tiger pose. Bodies are forward, chin is up. And we're going to pulse and round and lift that gluteus maximus. We can pulse it or we can squeeze it up nice and tight and just feel that burn. Five breaths. Three breaths. Feeling that gluteus maximus burn. And we're gonna find that pause. We're gonna take our right hand to our right foot or our left hand to our right foot and connect it, coming into that tiger pose, advanced tiger pose. Chin is up, heart chakra's lifted. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath. Exhale, coming back to table, dropping the body down to that cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our tabletop. We're gonna cross our feet at our ankles. We're gonna flow onto our backs. We're running out of time, but we're gonna get a couple of floor poses in. Bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in, knee to chest pose. Lifting our legs straight up in the air, legs on a the wall. They also call this rain. I think it's raindrop pose. That's what I heard it called. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Just pointing those toes up like a ballerina's foot, feeling that stretch. Lifting our gluteus maximus off the earth, breathing our legs to our torso, connecting our hands to the backs of our legs or our feet. Lifting that gluteus maximus off the earth, feeling this stretch in your lumbar spine. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back up to legs on the wall, pointing those toes up towards the heavens. As we separate our legs, coming into a wide-legged reclined pose, feeling this here in our inner thighs, pointing those feet in that ballerina's foot. <clears throat> Shoulder blades are connected to the yoga mat. Two more breaths. Using our hands to breathe our legs inward, hugging our knees into our chest as our knees flow towards the left, recline spinal twist, feeling that spinal cord twist, relax and decompress. You may even feel it cracking here. Knees are to the left, that right arm is out to the side like a lowercase t. And we can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over that right shoulder as our backs, our spinal cords relaxes into the earth. Our eyes are gazed downward or closed. Solid meditation, five natural breaths. Pushing our bodies back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. As our knees flow towards the right opposite side, recline spinal twist. Feeling that spinal cord twist and soothe as we breathe that left arm out to the side like a lowercase t. Option to gaze up at the heavens or gazing over that left shoulder. As our spinal cord, our backs connects to the earth. 
Our eyes are gazed downward or closed. Shoulder blades are completely relaxed. Five breaths of silence. As we roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose, eyes are gazed down with a closed, silent meditation, six natural breaths. Here in our fetal pose, may we keep our eyes gazed downward or closed. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care and practice teaching yoga here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care and teaching training with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste.